Key Style, brand new time here on Channel 8. And staying hydrated these hot summer days, watermelon soup could be the thing to add to your menu, Teresa. I like the sound of it. Joining us here is author Margaret Marshall. Great to have you back here. So nice to see welcome, you both. Welcome. Yeah, so no nice doubt. to see you both. Is yes. this an easy recipe? This is so easy. I'm all about easy, healthy, and tasty. Okay. And mm. watermelon is really a power food because it, it helps your cardiovascular system. Believe it or not, it has vitamin C, which helps the sun um, exposure to your skin. It's okay. not a sunscreen, but it helps the sun exposure. So it's just very, very easy. Can mm -hmm. we get started? Please. Easy. Let's do it. Let me use the bigger, bigger spoon. Get into it. Okay. Of course, we use watermelon. We put it in a blender or a uh, food processor. I'm sorry, I had to snag one earlier. That's Don't fine. Tell. I'll leave Don't them. tell the chef, you know. <laughs> we use mint. I don't think she minds. <laughs> mint leaves. Ooh. Nice. Fresh mint leaves. And how about the lime here? Do you put the whole... I squeeze. Well, you may have to do a whole... I use a whole watermelon, but you have to do it in batches. Okay. Because otherwise it's all over your kitchen. Do you need help kitchen. squeezing this one, too? No, I'm not going to use oh, the whole okay. thing. because just I kidding. just messy watermelon. Whole... Right, too much. And too then much. a little honey. Oh. For sweetness. Is this a dessert, or would you still serve it I serve this or? if I have a dinner party in the summer or a barbecue. I yeah. serve it before, or I keep it in the refrigerator, and I eat it as a snack all there week. You go. Okay. So you would mix that in your blender. Mm -hmm. When it's done, you pour it out, and this is what it looks like. The finished product. Uh, well, not yet. Oh, not oh. Yet. Oh, wait, there's more. Yeah, we're getting Hold there. on. There's more. Okay. I happen to like it a little chunky, but you can make it to any consistency that you'd like. Okay. Then you How take... do you like it, Teresa? Do you like chunky? I or do you think like I would prefer puree? it strained a little bit. Strained okay. a little yes. bit more? Okay. But then you <laughs> add apple juice. Oh, apple juice. I thought that, that was olive oil no. the whole time. That's a little remix there to the recipe. And now you huh? make it oh. to the consistency that you would like. Oh, I see wow. what you did there. Very, very and cool. And you can garnish it with, you know, whole mint leaves, whatever. You put it in the refrigerator. All of the flavors mixed together. You nice. put it for, you know, in the refrigerator for a few hours, maybe. Oh, it smells and delightful. Isn't it great? Look at how simple that was. There must I be mean, I mean, that was like the easiest dish we've ever done. 10 calories in this, too, right? So, well, there's 40 calories in oh. a cup of watermelon. <laughs> no, close close. Enough, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> But you're not eating a whole cup of watermelon. Here. That's true. It's you know, you're having a bowl. Blended together. So it, it's a very healthy dish for the summer. Excellent stuff. And the stuff. fact that there's a few little watermelon seeds in there are fine because we can eat watermelon seeds. It's all good. It's, it's all good. I won't worry about it. Margaret Marshall, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> oh, it's great Make to sure be here. You grab her books on Amazon.com. It's always a pleasure. I know you come up from Long Island. Long Island. Yeah, all the way up here to CT Styles. Yeah, so I love so it. Thank you. It. Hey, Teresa.